Hi team, this is Mr. Keffer, and welcome to this week's Teen Adult Senior Black Belt Track class. So let's go ahead and get started. Everyone show me your natural stance. Snap to attention, spread your feet, make a fist, cover, bring your feet together, and courtesy bow. Relax stance, hands right behind your back. Everyone repeat after me. To build, true confidence. I must have knowledge in the mind, honesty in the heart, and strength in the body. Winners never quit. Quitters never win. I choose to be a black belt. All right, team. Back out your natural stance. Team, let's start jogging in place. Get those hands and feet moving. Today we're gonna to be working on our speed. So as we're jogging, I want you to think about speed as two different aspects. There's mental and physical, right? So the mental speed is like our reaction time. It's how fast we react. We see something, we process that we're seeing it, we're doing it. They call that like the order loop, observe, decide, uh, absorb, orient, decide, and act, right? Uh, so those are like your mental one, that's your mental processing. Then we have our physical speed. Our physical speed is like moving super fast, right? It's striking fast, it relies on those strong muscles that we build up in class. So today we're gonna be working on those uh, that mental skills, the mental speed, and to do that really requires us to be relaxed. If you're super tense, you're gonna be slowing yourself down. So the more anxiety you have, the more tense you are, the more uh, closed in you are, the light, more likely you're gonna be slow to respond, the more relaxed you are, just kind of relax those shoulders a little bit, let relax those arms, the more relaxed you are, the faster you're gonna be able to respond, your muscles are gonna be much more in uh, a tuned state. All right, a quick snap to attention. Have your right leg, back to your right stance. All right, team, we're gonna do our switch around, house kick. So, we're gonna do three of them. I want you to try and do three as fast as you can. Three switch around, house kick, as fast as you can. Ready? And go, so kick, boom, right? And go, kick, boom, and kick, boom, right? Awesome, quick, quick, drop down, do three setups. Again, three as fast as you can. Look at that, come back up. One, two, and three, hop back up. All right, team. Now from here, we're gonna do our kick picks. So we're gonna pick and pick, right? Ready? Three as fast as you can, ready? And go, two, and three, awesome. Make sure you reset to a guard each time. Don't just spin really fast. Your hands are up, pick, 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 and pick, pick. Awesome, switch, go to the other side. Switch around, house kick, off the front leg, right? So remember this, again, we're working on speed today, so try and do these three quickly as you can. Just three, I want you to do as fast as you can, right? And begin. There's one, two, and three. And make sure you reset to a guard between each one. Back to our setups, three more setups, team, right? One, two, and three. Hop back up. Right. Get on the other side. Hard pick picks. Right? And go. One, two, two, and three, three. Just trying to do three really quick. All right, team. Ready? Back to your guard stance. I have normal guard stance. This time we're going to do a jab and a cross. Jab and a cross. All right? Three times. Again, reset big guard. It's not just punching fast as you can. Jab, cross, reset. That's the technique we're doing. Ready? Three times, and go. Soup, 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 soup. Awesome, guys. Now we're gonna do mountain climbers, three mountain climbers. Three on the right leg, three on the left. Ready, hop down, and go. One, one, two, two, three, three. Hop back up. Awesome. Back to your guarding stance. Start we're gonna do a universal block, three times. Again, remember, set to your guard, universal block, and come back, ready? And go. So, three on your own. Just kind of walk through it really fast, awesome. Very good. Switch sides. Now we're back to our jab cross again. Three jab crosses. Again, as fast as you can on your own. Remember to set to the guard between each one. Ready? And go. Awesome. Three more mountain climbers. Let's go. So it's one, one, two, two, three, three. Hop back up. And remember to do those mountain climbers. Challenge yourself. Bring those knees up as high as you can. Left leg back. Back to our guarding stance. Universal block. Out to the outside. Three as fast as we can. Ready? And go. So it's good. One, two, and three. And then reset. Awesome. Switch. The other side. Still working on that. Really that mental fit speed. Try and relax because your body makes it loose. Jab, cross, switch around, house kick. Jab, cross, switch, kick. Three times, team. Three times. Right? Again, as fast as you can go. And begin. Soup, soup. Awesome. Soup, soup. Awesome. Soup, soup. Awesome. Now, team, three burpees. 
Try and go as fast as you can. Ready? And go. Three. Awesome. Back to your guardian stand. All right. Pick, pick. Universal block. Three times. Fast as you can. Don't forget to reset to the guard. Ready? And begin. Soup, soup. Asa. Right. Soup, soup. Asa. And soup, soup. Asa. All right. Switch the other side. Jab, cross, switch, roundhouse kick. Remember that switch roundhouse kick? It's really always coming off the front leg. We're just putting it in the back for a second and then kick. Ready? All right, just jab, cross, switch, roundhouse kick. Begin. again, soup, soup, asa. Soup, soup, asa. Soup, soup, asa. Three more burpees, team. Ready? And go. One. Two, three, back to our guardian stance. Aye. Right, pick, pick, universal block. Three times, ready, and go. Soup, soup, asa. Oh, soup, soup, asa. Oh, soup, soup, asa. And relax. Back turn after set. This week's self defense is a two hand push from behind. So the idea is maybe someone comes up behind you, just gives you a shove. Maybe there's been some, you already have an altercation, there's some physical exchange already going on there, and somehow they get behind you and they shove you forward. In either case, what we need to do is we're going to, we're going to, be, we're going to try and step forward, we're going, to take, we're going to absorb that and step forward and use that to our advantage. So, as the person pushes me from behind, I am going to step forward, and like you could step straight to the front. What I'm going to do is I'm going to step a little bit off to the side so that I can turn and get my hands up pretty quickly. So, Think about you standing in front of a clock. 12 o'clock is right here. Try and step to about 1 o'clock if you can. Or 11 o'clock, depending on which leg falls forward. Because if I push out with my right leg, I want to step and be able to turn around and be in this position. And I want four, I step with my left leg. I want to be here. What I, so I'll do it space in this direction. I want to make sure I'm stepping and turning so my legs aren't crossed. If I step straight out and I turn, I'm suddenly walking in this tight row balance. I don't have as much coordination. One of the steps we can be wide on our turn because we're gonna turn and face our attacker. So I am here, I get pushed from behind. I am going to from step forward. I'm gonna turn around, my hands are up. I'm gonna do a jab cross, jab cross. And then we're going to do our switch roundhouse kick. We've practiced that class, let's do that here. So we're gonna do our switch, front leg, back leg. Okay. And then we're going to cover up. Stop, stay back. The important part here is that step and turn. We don't want to trip up. The counter for that really depends on the distance and position of the attacker. Since we've been working jab cross, roundhouse kick in class, we're going to use that as our defense today. But really, whatever works best for you in that situation is going to be the correct counter for this. So it's our two-hand push, push from behind. I might be minding my own business. I might, be, I might have already been, you might have just shifted behind me and pushed me. As they push, I step forward, I'm stepping forward with my left leg out to one o'clock. I'm turning around, I'm in a good guard, my hands are up in case there's a follow-up punch coming in here. And then I'm just gonna drive that jab in, drive the cross, switch, kick. All right, push, stop, stay back. So let's do that again. This is our two-hand push from behind. So. I'll step forward with my left leg. I'll step forward with my left leg. I'm stepping out to one o'clock. I turn into a guard. Jab, cross, switch, roundhouse kick. Shuffle back. Stop, stay back. Remember, we do a push roundhouse, push cover out of that. But if they're, we're already far enough away from them, we're not going to run forward to push them. Our hands are just going to go up. If we're really close, push to keep that distance. If we're far, if I kick, kicking distance, I'm probably not pushing distance, right? So in that case, my hands are going up and I'm moving away. Try to avoid the kick, run in, push, and run back, right? We don't need to do that. All right, let's do this again. Two hand choke, or sorry, two hand push behind. So I step forward with my left leg, out to one o'clock, I'm turning around, hands are up, jab, cross, switch, kick, stop, stay back. So as you're shuffling back, I'm trying to shuffle back so I stay in frame. But what you want to make sure is you make sure you have far enough distance between yourself and your attacker so they can't easily counter again, right? 
So I'm doing this, I'm gonna do this from the front here, pack it behind, two hands push from behind. I'm gonna step forward again, step forward with my left leg, out to where I thought, I'm turning around. Jab, cross, switch, kick, shuffle back, stop, stay back. I have lots of room to keep moving, right? There's nothing that says I have to stop once I get past them. Get, your goal is to get away from them until you're at a point where you can take off and escape. Get to someplace safe. All right, Heath, how about your natural stance? Heath, let's grab our comments. We're gonna go through Kamen Kata Ichi one more. All right, Heath, I'm gonna do the starting sideways. It's gonna be Kamen Kata Ichi. We'll start with our natural stance. We're gonna to snap to attention. We're gonna bow, we're gonna bring our commas up. Grab with both hands. Go up high, forming a Y. Step out with your left leg as you circle down in front, comma blades pointing to the side. Step forward with your right leg, you're gonna do a head strike from here. Circling block, we're gonna circle upward, step in, strike to the neck. We're gonna block low, step in, strike to the waist. We're going to deflect, bring our leg up, we're gonna come in, and we're gonna block and strike to the ankle. We're gonna turn, we're switching our grip. As we switch our grip, we're coming up, we're gonna do a rising block. We're gonna step forward, cut across the stomach, Turn your palm so it's palm up and cut back. From here, we're going to switch our grip again as we step forward, double strike down, switch our grip again. This time, there's no more stepping. We're just going to be shuffling forward. We're going to shuffle forward as we strike up. Cross your arms in front, palms up, open up. Switch your grip again, shuffle in, strike straight down. So I'm coming down to a 45 degree angle as we strike into the shoulders. From here, we're turning around. We're gonna go high, we're gonna go low, we're gonna snap to attention, and up. And that team is Kamikaze Ishii. Let's go with our comments up. First degree black belts and higher, we're gonna go over tempo six. So I'll turn sideways for this one. All right, start our natural stance. Starting with your right leg, step four, we're gonna walk, chop, heel palm, uppercut. Parry, brush block to the outside, hammer fist to the face, hammer fist to the groin. Front leg goes back, back leg steps forward. We're gonna parry, walk to the outside. We're gonna forearm block, arm bar. Uh, we're gonna push the arm down. We're gonna rotate the body into a Elbow strike. From here, they're gonna punch again. We are gonna step back. We're gonna crane down as we heel palm into the face. Step forth your right leg, punch into the stomach. From here, we're gonna parry. We're gonna come around and we're gonna chop, grab, and heel palm into the stomach. Rotate your palm down, elbow up, sorry. Palm up, elbow down. We're gonna bring our hand up in an uppercut. We're gonna swing back around for our back knuckle. From here, we're gonna come around. We're gonna Block on the other side. We're gonna catch their arm. We're gonna dance their step all the way around. As we do, we're gonna come up into an arm bar and we're gonna take them down, locking their arm up. We are going to go from here. We're gonna come down, grab their face. We're gonna pull straight up, cranking their neck to the side, bringing the elbow up nice and high, and we're gonna drop that elbow at the center of the back. From here, we step back into our starting position, natural stance, press their attention, and bow. All right, team, and that is tempo six. All right, team, let's gather around. There was once a little boy who had a bad temper. His mother and father tried everything he could think of to help him. Then one day, his father was getting a, given a new plan from a friend that taught karate. The father gave the little boy a bag of nails and told him that every time he lost his temper, he must hammer a nail into the back of the fence. The first day, the boy had driven 37 nails into the fence. Over the next few weeks, as he learned to control his anger, the number of nails hammered each day gradually dwindled down. He discovered it was easier to hold his temper, temper than to drive those nails into the fence. Finally, the day came when the boy didn't lose his temper at all. He told his father about it, and the father suggested that the boy now pull out one nail for each day that he was able to hold his temper. 
The days passed, and the young boy was finally able to tell his father that all of the nails were gone. The father took his son by the hand and led him to the fence. He said, you've done well, my son, but look at the holes in the fence. The fence will never be the same. When you say things in anger, they leave a scar, just like those in the fence. If you hit a friend, it leaves a bruise. And even after the bruise fades, it won't matter how many times you say I'm sorry, the wound is still there. The reminder for all of us is we can't control the situation, but we can control our reaction. During those moments, we need to find a way to pause. How do we pause? Is it taking a deep breath, going on a walk, or waiting until tomorrow to finish the conversation? Pausing is a way for us to reach a state where we are ready to calmly move forward. By controlling our reaction, we can control our temper and its effect on those around us. All right, team, as always, when you have an exciting lesson of the week, remember to share this with somebody else, really spread the impact. All right, back to our natural stance. Let's go back. Team, snap to attention, tap on your right leg, back to your guard stance. Oh, yeah. We're going to do jab, cross five times, right? So, on my count, ready? And go, shut up. Ready, go, Sumasa, go, Sumasa, go, Sumasa, go, Sumasa, and one more go, Sumasa, switch, other side. Work on that speed, I want you to stay relaxed, keep the shoulders relaxed, hands up, and just explode until we hear my voice. Ready, and one, Sumasa, two, Sumasa, three, Sumasa, four, Sumasa, five, Sumasa. Awesome team, quick snap to attention. Next we're gonna do lunges, we're gonna do 10 lunges. Right? So do these on your own, 10 lunges, five, uh, 10 on your right leg, 10 on your left, right? And get ready. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. If you want to do switching, jumping lunges, switching lunges, feel free to do one, two, three. Go to what your challenge level will support. Four, five. Six, keep the hands up. Eight, nine, and ten. All right, team, back to our natural stance. Snap to attention. And go to your own stance. Hi. Switch around, house kicks. Ready? On my count, again, you want to explode as soon as you hear my voice. And one, awesome. Two, awesome. Three, awesome. Four, awesome. Five, awesome. Switch, go to the other side. Five more roundhouse kicks, ready? And one, awesome. Two, awesome. Three, awesome. Four, awesome. Five, awesome. Fantastic team, 10 push-ups. On your own, try and knock them out as quick as you can. Make sure you get down all the way, ready? And begin, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back on our feet. Back up to our natural stance. Snap to attention, tap on your right leg, back to your guard stance. Aye. This time, team. Jab, cross, switch, roundhouse kick. Ready? Get an arm eye count, try and explode. As soon as you hear my say go. You want to react as fast as you can, right? And one, soup, soup, awesome. Two, soup, soup, awesome. Three, soup, soup, awesome. Four, soup, soup, awesome. Five, soup, soup, awesome. And then switch, go to the other side. All right, jab, cross, switch around, house kick, right? Hands are up, elbows are in. One, soup, soup, awesome. Two, soup, soup, awesome. Three, soup, soup, awesome. Four, soup, soup, awesome. Five, soup, soup, awesome. All right, team, 10 steps. Right, on the ground. You can do flutter kick, the V-ups, whatever works best for the space you have. I'm trying to work out of core muscles here, right? And begin. One, two, keep your hands up. Three, don't grab your legs. Four, eyes focused to the front. Five, breathing as you go. Six, seven, 
Keep your feet flat on the floor if you can. Eight, nine, last one, and ten. Awesome team, everyone back up. All right, next round, back to our guard stance. Natural stance, snap to attention, tap on the right leg, back, Aya. We're gonna do pick, pick. Right, on my count again, as soon as you hear my voice, explode into it. Right. One, two, two. Right back to your guard then. Two, two, two. Three, two, two. Part of our speed, part of our reaction is resetting after a technique. Make sure you go to it as fast as you can. Relax. Right. Four, two, two. Five, two, two. And switch. All right. Back hand, front hand. Pick, pick. Right. And one, two, two. Two, two, two. Three, soup soup. Four, soup soup. And five, soup soup. Awesome, guys. Squat, jumps. Squats, squat, jumps. All right. Either one you want to do, squat, tuck, jumps. Find the challenge level that's going to work for you and go ahead and do it. We're going to do 10 of those. Ready? Ready? And natural stance. Squats or squat, jumps. Ready? And begin. We go one, two, three. your natural stance. Snap to attention, right leg goes back. Aya, universal block. Again, starting from our guard, when I say go, go ahead and explode into it. One, two, 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 three, two, four, two, and five, two, and switch, go to the other side. Aya, again, universal block, and come right back. Ready? One, two, 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 three, Four, two, five, two. All right, team. Mountain climbers. Ten on each leg. Twenty total. Ready? Everyone goes down. And begin. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Back on your feet. All right, team. Next round. Pluck, pluck, universal block. Pick, 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 bring universal block. Natural stance. Snap to attention. Back to your guard stance. I remember back hand, front hand, universal block. Ready? And one, soup soup, asa. Two, soup soup, asa. Three, soup soup, asa. Four, soup soup, asa. Five, soup soup, asa. Switch, other side. Pick, pick, universal block. Ready? And one, soup soup, asa. Two, soup soup, asa. Three, soup soup, asa. Four, soup soup, asa. Five, soup soup, asa. Quick snap to attention. Ten jumping jacks, team. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and freeze. Back out your natural stance. Everyone take a deep breath into your nose. Hold it for four seconds. Exhale. Hold it for four seconds and relax. Back to your natural stance. Thank you for joining us for this week's on demand teen and adult senior black belt track class. So, everyone, show your natural stance. Snap to attention. Face front and back. Back out to your natural stance. Everyone, have a great week. See you soon, baby. See ya.